You have 47 minutes. Stay in communication with me. Do what you have to do. I will be home by tomorrow afternoon. یه تفاق بعد افتاده یه مامور مساد وارد ایرون شده اسرائیلیت میخوان یه کار بزرگ بکنن The cost is clear Take care of the package I'm in Copy that امیر روز میخوام گیرش بندازم اینو پیدا کن The cops are here You have to get out I'm almost done یه تخیلت پریتا فیزیت دیگه کی هستی؟ Mission is burned. They're on to you now. Ma, ma, khilu chuna. Az misu kan khshaf. Joy na daram beram. Saat ye shab. Budun qayim kardan ye Israeli ani chi. I will get you out. I'll do what the priest takes. Dar akar shumi kare. I need your help. The boys are looking for me. They're questioning everyone here. تو میدونی از چی میخوام؟ نه من هیچ وقت خانم رو نهیدم یکی کیپ لاین تو می این ها کنم بگیم هم الهایف ایف ایو هر که مرا بنجان آنها تر هم برو کجاست؟ یو هفت تیل میت دارید دو نا تست می اشتی که مولا پیولا خیبت لغی پروفیل We're not gonna get another chance. I'm gonna make sure they get out of here. I'm gonna make sure they get out of here. There's no going back now. You have failed this city. We have suffered. It's important we embrace the miracles too. We're a team. The staff chose me to get justice. Was there a crossover? Did we win? Our goal is to stop crime and violence. I will not let fear win. Just run as fast as you can. I'll try to keep up. I'm an upstanding citizen now. This is me. We can all stand up for what's right, no matter what. Truth and justice always prevail. You ready? I stay ready. You are Earth's mightiest heroes. What if this wasn't the life we were meant to have after crisis? Your mother's planning a trip. Clark Kent, back in Smallville. This family needs Smallville as much as the world needs Superman. Clark, I need you to get to Metropolis now. It's the boys. The boys? Yeah, honey, your sons. Front page news. If it does, I will let you know. My name is John Brown, and I am here to defeat slavery. They say I am insane. John Brown weren't known, but I was gonna stick by the captain, same as he always stuck by me. <laughs> Crazy as he may be. I ain't never been shot at till I met you. Truth be told, I ain't seen a person murdered till I met you. I would stay off that subject entirely. As gunfighters of the gospel, we are allowed a few indulgences. Tell me, how many are in his army? Damn near ten, I guess. Ten? Ten. You counted ten? Ten! That's not even a dozen! this old man the cheese has slid all the way off your biscuit we're gonna start a revolution it's 
So we are now 15 days before a presidential election, and we have to go through 347,000 emails to determine if one of the candidates in that election needs to be indicted. Russia, we think they're trying to sabotage Secretary Clinton's campaign. How? Never spend much time on Facebook. Eight hours to go before the polls begin to close. Wisconsin, you see the lead? This is a sweep. Director Comey, the networks have all called it for Trump. No one has ever succeeded like I have. This was not espionage. This was an attack. You're gonna get clobbered, Jim. Jim Comey, you've all seen this to me. Really looking forward to working with you. Let's take a picture. We've now been presented the dossier concerning Russia and its connection to Trump. Putin began cultivating Trump as an asset and helped in real estate deals, hundreds of millions in loans. That constitutes a real threat to national security. Would you like to come over for dinner tonight? Just the two of us? Nobody gets treated as unfairly as I do. It's disgraceful. Sir, I need loyalty. I expect loyalty. The president just committed a crime in your presence. Stop deciding what we do and don't need to know. It's so crazy in there. We're steaming towards an iceberg. I want to know what you can do to lift this Russia cloud. If we ever put anything above the truth, it's a bell that can never be unrung. He's a bad guy. He's a dishonest guy. You're being pulled into a conspiracy. You fired Sally Yates. Do you really not know how screwed you are? You went there to put bad guys away. Not to help them become president. He thinks that being right will save him. It won't. I've been dreaming of doing a trip through South America for years. We're here with the most famous actor, Ewan McGregor. But life got in the way. And now I've decided to do the trip with my best friend, Charlie Borman. You've got to look after the relationships in your life. And if you don't, you're just, you're losing something that's very important. We'll ride 13,000 miles from the southern tip of Argentina all the way to Los Angeles. 150 miles every day is a long way to go. And if that wasn't enough of a challenge, we wanted to see if we could do it on electric motorcycles. <laughs> I think it's the future electric. You'd be the first people to go this distance, charging as you go. Oh my God, it's so great, isn't it? Oh, uh oh, the power's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is us on the road, Charlie. This is us on the way, man. I'm gonna get attacked by this dog. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ride through the brutal Patagonian winter. Look at that snow. It's amazing how cold it is. We're gonna climb to the extreme heights of the Andes and experience the real risks of high altitude. Ooh, I can't breathe. I'm definitely getting sick, Charlie. Before witnessing the endangered jungles of Central America. To think about all of the things that might go wrong. I think we're lost. Is this a road? Which might be a little bit wild, wild, I told it In the middle of the night, things just go around your brain, don't they? I have real fear. I don't want anyone to get hurt. They just roll around. I'm not going to make it. Towing somebody on a bike is dangerous. What if the bikes don't work? What if we can't charge the bikes? What if it snows tomorrow? I really enjoy the unknown of it all. Just coming across the people we come across. What is this? Amazing, the people. Learning about the cultures and seeing how people keep their traditions alive puts you in touch with yourself and the world in a way. I'm an actor. What films have you made? Did anybody see Star Wars? No. I don't think so. None of these kids have seen anything I've done. <laughs> <laughs> Long way up, two guys lost in South America. <laughs>
before what the hell no idea you either have to kill me or kill the drone because that's a job for angry When was the last time you really let go? This place just begs you to. This series, it's really about the exploration of different people's experience of grief. Initially, you see this story from Sam's point of view, and he's someone who is absolutely on the edge and is suffering. In summer, we're following him, trying to understand something that's happened in his past, but also being drawn to this extraordinary island. This feels familiar, like I've been here. This is a crazy world we're building. All the locations are directly inspired by this island. It's this idea of duality that is really important in OC. It's salt and soil, land and sea. I wanted to present something that felt quite idyllic, but also that was ultimately very dangerous. This world, there was a definite sense of inescapable experience for Sam. Long way from home. Look, there's no phones. Causeway doesn't open until 4.06. Oh, well, you're welcome to stay. I'd love that. I can't stay. You can't leave. The OC to outsiders, it's a very strange place. It has a lot of secrets. They believe that when things are in balance on OC, then the world is in a good place. But their beliefs are such that they will go to any lengths to restore harmony. The show is also an exploration of the blurred lines between fantasy and reality. And a lot of things happening, you don't know where they come from. It's about building up those horror elements. We knew that we wanted to have two different stories. So in winter, we have a new character coming to the island. We are going to have ourselves an adventure. This holiday's like a new start. When Helen arrives with her girls on OC, she sees just total abandonment. Something off immediately confronts them. People there are fractured. We're not open as such. We need a room. Well, we don't do rooms anymore. We're not going. It's a psychological journey that they go on, but also it's a journey into their loss. My girls have been through a lot. I want them to feel good. Then leave. You ready for what happens next?